Introducing our van. Our home. Clever, Clever girl. girl. We designed and converted our 2016 Ram Promaster City to be the springboard to our adventures. We made the slightly unconventional choice to convert a smaller four-cylinder van as opposed to a larger cargo van because our primary objective in entering into van life was to travel, and our Clever Girl gets us 29 miles per gallon fully loaded. We had a few priorities to keep in mind when designing the van. During our time in quarantine in Detroit, we cherished our time cooking and making drinks, so we wanted to be able to cook rich, complex, and delicious meals on the road. And we also wanted a fully functional bar. We wanted our space to be simple and open, but also modular and capable of suiting many different purposes depending on our needs. We wanted a space that was comfortable enough for two people to sleep and spend time in. Finally, we wanted a space in which to lounge, watch movies, listen to music, and generally feel at home. When choosing materials, colors, and patterns, we tried to create a palette that was natural, modern, and adventurous. We wanted to bring nature into the build where we could. That meant enveloping the space with wood grain and adding in green as one of our primary colors along with black and white. Maintaining a sleek, modern feel was important to us because in such a small van, we felt that keeping everything open and clean looking would make the space feel larger. But most of all, Clever Girl is our adventure vehicle, so we needed her to be durable, inspiring, and fun. With a fairly narrow space in which to try to fit all of our necessities, we designed our shelves to fit closely along one wall. Instead of doors or drawers, we added a small lip to each shelf and a bungee to secure everything. We made a spice rack with room for 15 jars that stay in place with Velcro. On the side of our shelves, we store our cooking utensils and flatware and hooks. The shelves keep everything convenient and close at hand, and on our road trip so far, they have worked to keep all of our pantry items secured, even on the roughest of roads. The bottom shelf sits on top of the counter and is narrower but taller than the others. This allows the storage of items such as our Chemex, salt and pepper grinders, and bar tools. Our full bar sits to the back left of the counter with room for about a dozen bottles. We have so much fun and save money too by making our favorite drinks at home instead of always drinking out. Our counter space allows us plenty of room to chop veggies, cook meals, and make our morning coffee. To the left in front of our bar is our food prep area. This is the largest countertop and is where one of us typically prepares our veggies and makes salads. To the right is our coffee area. We were able to fit a full-size Fella water kettle and coffee grinder along with our Chemex for pour overs. We'll post a video detailing our morning coffee routine soon, so make sure you subscribe to our channel to be notified when we post it. Finally, we have our flip-up counter, which allows us to cook right in front of our door. We set up our stove here, and we can either leave the door open for ventilation, or open the window and turn on the overhead fan. Below our counter space, in this little cubby, we are able to store two pans, a collapsible pot, two plates, two bowls, and two coffee mugs. All the necessities. Our build is centered around a Goal Zero Yeti 1500X. We decided it would be easier and more space efficient to purchase an all-in-one system, and we've been very happy with it. Placed here, we can easily monitor our power input and output, and turn our appliances and other tech on and off. To the left of the Goal Zero is our 5-gallon water tank. We decided to simply pair this tank with a battery-powered pump. This way, we didn't have to run pipes or worry about them freezing in the winter. In addition, the tank is easily refillable at many grocery stores. We simply remove the pump and flip up this portion of the counter to remove the tank. Above the water tank and hardwired to our battery is our combination carbon monoxide and LP gas detector. Lastly, we have our Dometic CFX 325. This was the perfect refrigerator for us because of its narrow form factor. It fits well into our build while also holding plenty of food. It is accessible by flipping up the left side counter. On our rear doors, we placed our compact trash can, ratcheting paper towel holder, and our collapsible dish tub. We made these window coverings to keep us incognito, but also with the ability to fold up and stay secure with magnets when we want a little light. They have reflectics in between the layers of fabric for added insulation. One of the material choices that we are most glad we made was going with coin grip flooring. It's durable and waterproof, and no matter how much dirt or mud we track in, it's a breeze to clean. A main priority when starting on this build was designing a seating area that was comfortable and had headroom, but also had plenty of room for storage underneath. In addition, we wanted the bed to be extendable, allowing us more space to move around during the day and more sleeping room at night. The resulting custom pull-out slat bed hit the sweet spot and ended up working to perfection. We also have room for an extra storage bag, our grill, outdoor table and chairs, and tire chains. The space is also accessible from the passenger side door. Above the divider, separating the cab from the living space, is our linen shelf. It takes an otherwise wasted space and turns it into a perfect area to store our blankets and towels when they are not in use. 
Below the shelf, we added a mirror to make the interior of the van feel a little roomier and to make sure we weren't looking too rough for our morning walk into a truck stop. We knew we wanted a space to listen to music, so we installed some Bluetooth boat speakers, which sound great despite not having a subwoofer. On the opposite wall above the mirror, we placed an external monitor. With the use of cables and an adapter, we are able to stream movies and TV shows on a larger screen without having to use our limited hotspot data. To see how we did it, check out the card above. We added a cell booster which gives us consistent signal in remote places, but more importantly, helps to overcome the van's Faraday cage by bringing the signal inside with an internal antenna. Lastly, we installed LED light strips and aluminum channels with translucent covers for light diffusion. We love the modern look and low profile design. In a build this size, every inch counts. On our roof, we placed two 100 watt Renogy flexible solar panels, which have been game changers for us. We can now go weeks without having to plug into shore power. We also added a Max Air Max fan with a rain shield to keep us cool on even the warmest of nights. The external antenna for the cell booster attaches via magnets to the back of the roof. Using the roof and rear doors, we can set up a covered patio area. We sewed magnets onto some awning fabric, and with a couple of tent poles, our outdoor rug, chairs, and a table, we have a really pleasant outdoor area to cook, eat, or just to hang out in. On the top left of the divider wall, we have our map of the contiguous United States. We bought it on Etsy and we'll leave a link to it in the description. Our criteria for adding a new state to the map is that we must spend at least one day exploring and stay overnight. Lastly, we have our hand-painted mural. It was a great way to bring some greenery into the space without having to try to keep a plant alive under extreme van conditions. We named our van Clever Girl after the famous scene in Jurassic Park. It's one of our favorite movies and we thought it combined our van's sense of adventure with what we feel is a clever use of a small space. I'm Alex. I'm Kaylee. And we are Pinter Whitnick. If you're tuning in for the first time, we are van lifers and musicians. We recently moved into our Ram Pearl Master City here. If you'd like to see more of Clever Girl and more of the adventures that we take her on, we hope that you consider subscribing to our channel. If you really like Clever Girl, uh, we hope that you consider becoming a patron. We do a bunch of cool stuff on there. We share videos there first. We hope you've enjoyed this van tour video and hope to see you again for some more shenanigans.